and again, and again, and again, and and again, and and again, and 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 again. You see, see, y'all, y'all don't know where I come from. Uh, see, on the other side, the other side, there was a pandemic. Hello, somebody. Uh, on, on the other side, there was a pandemic. Look, look, look around the room. Look around the room. Look, look around the room. We, we are the ones who come out of. Hello, somebody. There is a God that delivered us out of the pandemic. And we are, hello, somebody. We are, we are, we are the ones who have made it out of the pandemic. Amen. Amen. Give all honor and glory to God. Truly, he is a able. Yes, huh? yes, Preacher, did you say he's able? Amen. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say that he's able? Yes, yes. What? Yes. God is able? Yes. God is able? God is able? Look to your neighbor and tell him he's able. He's able. When all around the world they were in fear that death would consume them. But our God brought us through. Thank our God you. brought us through. Thank Heavenly you. Father, in the mighty and powerful and wonderful name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Father God, it is in his wonderful name that we come to you on today, Lord God, giving you all glory, yes. honor, and praise. We thank you, O oh God, for awakening us to a new day that we have not seen before. A day that was not promised, Lord but a day that is full of your covenant blessings. And so, Father God, in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus, Lord God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We thank you, Lord God, as we pass through your courts of thanksgiving, Lord God, that you, you looked upon us, you smiled upon us, Lord God. You kept us, Lord God, out of the way of the enemy. You made a way out of no way, Lord God. Father God, you covered us with your blood. You healed us, Lord God. You restored us. You revived us, Lord God. Long before the vaccination came out, Lord God, you were still taking care of us, Lord God. And so we got to give you glory today, Lord God, because we are a people who realize if it had not been for you, oh God, where would we be? And so we give you all praise. We give you all honor. We give you all glory because you are an awesome God. You are a holy God. You are a strong God. You are a mighty God. And God, you saw fit to bring us into your house today, Lord God, your house of prayer, Lord God, that we might be able to worship worship you in spirit and in truth. And so on today, Lord God, we give you glory. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing. We thank you, Lord God, that our ears are open to hear your word on today. We thank you, Lord God, that our hearts are ready to receive your word on today. We pray now, Lord God, that your word would go forth with power, clarity, and authority in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Are you glad to be here today? Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Hey, amen. I, I, I want to amen acknowledge the church. Amen. For its braveness, for its boldness, and for its confidence. Amen. To give your pastor some time off. Amen. 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 Hey, 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 amen. Hey, amen. Anybody been close enough to him? Know that it is a 24-7, 365 days out of the year. Hello, somebody. That's my wife. She's sitting right there in the red. Hello, somebody. Amen. She's the one that's got to stay up late, amen, when I'm not there. Hello, somebody. She's the one that's got to cook my dinner when I get there. She's the one that got to wash my clothes. Well, not that she got to, but she did. Amen. I, I, I see the hate rising up. Quit. Amen. Look at him. He's so chauvinistic and everything. She got to do all this. She ain't got to. Hello, it's because of love. She got to. Huh? Can I help somebody today? Amen. It's about love. It's about love. I ain't got the papers to make her do it, but she want to do it because she loves me. Hello, somebody. Ain't God good? Ain't God good to give you something beautiful at your side that's going to help you through the storm? Hello, somebody. Huh? Help you through the storm. Amen. Help you when your feet hurt. Help me, somebody. Huh? Ain't God good? Ain't God good? There is a word today. There is a word today that uh, God has given us, and we thank Pastor for uh, allowing us to come before, amen, the flock that God has positioned him to oversee. Uh, and so and thank you all for your grace and your mercy and your prayers. Uh, continue to support your pastor, uh, amen, during his time of sabbatical. 
uh, that God may both strengthen him and also uh, lift him up, amen, that he amen. might be encouraged, amen. For those of you who have your Bibles, if you would please turn to Ephesians, amen, the sixth chapter. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and we're going to uh, position ourselves in Ephesians because there is a word for the church on today. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, amen, and we want to direct our attention uh, to verse number 10. Ephesians, the uh, sixth chapter, and I'll be reading from the King James Version on today. Uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and we want to draw our attention to verse 10. Amen. Verse 10. In Ephesians, when you got that, go ahead and say, Preacher and Pastor, I got it. Is everybody all right today? Amen. Yes. Yes. Are you happy about something? Yes. Yes. Are you happy about something? Yes. A little something, something? Yes. Yes. Release a shout. 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 Yes. Lord, we love you. Amen. 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 Truly, God is able. Right there in verse number 10. Amen. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and it reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If you got your highlighter, you may want to highlight that. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. In the power of his might. Yes. Amen. 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 I, I, I could stop right there, but I want to give you the full course. Amen. Uh, don't don't want to just give you the appetite. I want to yes. give you the full course so that you have all of the entrees that God is wanting to give you, feed you today. Somebody said that there is a prepared table with your name on it. Yes. Uh, in the presence yes. of your enemies, your yes. haters, amen. Yes. And so then I don't want to shortcut you today and give you a fast food meal, amen. but I want to make sure that you get a full meal today, yes. amen, yes. so that you can sop it up at the end with the biscuits and gravy. Right. Uh, <laughs> and hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody is hungry for the gospel. Amen. Somebody amen. is thirsty for the living water. So we don't want to shortchange you on today. And so verse 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on, put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Huh? Four, verse 12, verse 12, verse 12. Here it is. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hello, hello. Look to your neighbor. I ain't trying to wrestle with you. I ain't trying to wrestle with you. For we not we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, yeah. against powers, yeah. against the rulers of the darkness of the world, yeah. against spirits, yeah. uh, wicked yeah. spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah. Amen. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, Amen. that you might be able to withstand in the evil day. Having done all to stand. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Doing of his word uh, on today. You may take your seat uh, with this particular thought. Uh, amen. Amen. Uh, with this particular thought. Uh, amen. What's on the inside? What what what's on the inside? What what's on the on the inside? Uh, Deacon Brown is the is the read wet. Well, kind of sort. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? It is the reed wet. All right. Uh, so, so for those of you who are musically inclined, yeah. a, 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 amen. Yeah. amen. Those of you who are musically inclined, that oftentimes before we, we hit the instrument and we land to blow air through the instrument, we will wet the reed, yeah. the wood piece. Huh? Amen. So that it vibrates. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and so then now the, the word has been given. Amen. The title has been given. There's a sound. Amen. There, there's a sound that we that that that, that we that we uh, 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 bring forth. Amen. Mm. Mm. Because we now we want to enter into a place of worship. 
Yes. Y'all, y'all don't hear me. Yes. Yes. Y'all, y'all don't hear me. First, first of all, I, I need to understand who it is that we, we worship. Go ahead and witness some more now. Uh, uh, a- a- amen. So so that we, we, we need to understand, a- a- amen, that there is a God. Amen. A- amen. He says that, that faith begins with the belief that there is a God. Believing that there is a God who watches over us, who created the heavens and the earth, amen, and then made a decision to make man. Amen. You didn't make yourself. Uh, yeah. uh, you ain't had nothing to do with that. Amen. As a matter of fact, you weren't there when God created heaven and earth. Amen. He didn't ask you anything about it. He did it himself without your approval, without your committee, without your decision, without your opinion. He did it all by himself. Amen. Amen. And then he made the decision, let us make man in I am jealous of somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And because God did that, I believe that he deserves some praise. Amen. Amen. I, I, I believe that he deserves some praise. Amen. amen. The most high God, amen, whose name is above every other name, amen, allowed you and I, amen, to come into his house of refuge. Hello, somebody, into his house of prayer, amen, that we might have fellowship with him and then worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. What does that mean then, Pastor? That means I'm willing to lay down everything right now. Mm -hmm. Jesus made a sacrifice. So he said to us, why don't y'all present yourselves as a living sacrifice? A living sacrifice. And so, Lord God, before I start thinking about this afternoon's dinner, Amen. This afternoon, playoff games and all like that. Lord, let me just sit still for a moment yeah. to give you some praise. Yeah. To worship you in spirit and in truth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, can, can, can we do uh, the song that she was singing? I love you. Can, can you do a little something with that? You ready? Yeah. Do something with that. So that the, so that the church so that the church uh, so so that the church can can issue up, amen, direct our love towards heaven. Somebody said that our affection ought to be directed towards heaven. side of the hill watching his daddy squat and he played the instrument because he loved God. Because he loved God. Amen. There is a word for y'all today. Amen. And so then we read the scripture which many of you are familiar with. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God. Amen. We've heard that in Sunday school. We've heard it preached several times. We've heard it at revivals and conferences and seminars. We've heard about putting on the whole armor of God so that we might be able to stand. Amen against the enemy as he comes against us. Amen? Amen. And so then as the Holy Spirit was having me to look over this, amen, he pointed out to me something extremely important. He says, what's on the inside? Mm. What's on the inside? Mm. Uh, Amen. And so then we are able, amen, to take on the armament of God because he has provided it for us. Amen. But what's going on on the inside? Uh, Amen. What, 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 what's going on the inside that would allow us to be successful, amen, against the enemy, amen, on that particular day and any day that would follow or after us? Huh? The church. The church. Amen. We're going to stay in Ephesians, but I need to show you something. Amen. Uh, look over to Ephesians 4. I don't want you to put your Bibles up. Amen. You can use your electronic apps and all like that. I don't want you to put your Bibles up because I need this word. Amen. That God is bringing on today. I need this word planted in your heart. Amen. Planted in your heart. Amen. So that you might be confident 
and both bold, amen, to stand, amen, and make a declaration that God is who he says that he is. Amen. That God has delivered us, amen, out of a pandemic storm. Yes. God is still able to yes. do the impossible, yes. amen, if we will just trust, amen, in his word. Yes. And so then there is a word for you on today, Ephesians chapter 4. Let's turn over to chapter 4, amen. Look right around verse number, amen, 11. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let's see what God says. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some uh, pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints. Amen. Look to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you ain't perfect yet. <laughs> Amen. 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 I, I'm looking at that, Sister Ramona, and it says for the perfecting. That means that it is a process that is still going on. Amen. Uh -huh. So when you get home, amen, I don't want you to just be disappointed in the church and grabbing the clinics and everything like that. But when you get home, look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're not perfect. All right, God. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And, and, amen. Right. I know you got it going on. I know you got it going on. But hold on. Wait a minute, player. You ain't perfect. Uh, amen. God ain't finished with you yet. Right, amen. You, you may have the outside looking all good and but what's on the inside? Amen. Huh? Yeah. What what what's on the inside? Are y'all are y'all still with me? Yeah, God. Huh? Yeah. A -a Amen. Give God good. God is so good. For verse number eleven. Amen. According to the eternal purpose, which yeah. He has purposed in Christ Jesus, our, our our Lord. Amen. And so there's a reason why He gave apostles, prophets, and, and teachers, and evangelists. So that you and I, amen, might be full of Christ as we're moving towards perfection. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that God might be able to use you, even though you've been broken. Hello, somebody. Yeah. You've been bruised. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Your best friend hurt your feelings. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You sent out a text yesterday. Nobody responded. <laughs> a a amen, 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 amen. You tried to friend somebody and they ignored you. Oh, All those things hurt. They hurt our feelings. Amen. And sometimes when we are in a hurt place, it's difficult for us to move forward mm. with God's purpose. Did y'all hear me? Amen. And so then he brings those instruments to help us be perfected in Christ Jesus amen. so that we can do the work that he has called us for. To do. Amen. Uh oh, Pastor, I hear you say something about work. Does that mean I can't get my unemployment? <laughs> All by myself. All by myself. Hold on, Pastor, I think you said something deep. I think you said something deep. A amen. Has the church, has the church, has the church, amen, gone to a place of unemployment? To where we're not doing what God has called us to do? But we still show up at the church house for our blessing. Oh, all right. I'm not supposed to be preaching. Am I not supposed to be saying that? Okay. Amen. But God, who saved us and delivered us out of a pandemic, amen, God is looking at his body of believers and wondering, what are we waiting on? Well, my God. Mm. Did I not deliver you out of a pandemic? Amen. A pandemic that had the entire world afraid and scared and running in fear? Did I not deliver you? Did I not protect you? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And now you want to sit down and collect unemployment? Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Like you putting on your work clothes to go to work. Hello, somebody. Oh my God is good. God is good. God is so very good for the perfection uh, uh, of the saints. Let me let me let me show y'all something here. Amen. Mm, till we all come. Look at verse thirteen. Till we all come. Hmm? My Bible says till we all come. Amen. Got some church folk. Amen. That sit on the unemployment roll. They are quick and easy. Point the finger at somebody else. You need to hear that message. You need to read your Bible. You need to hold on. Wait a minute. I believe he said, Brown, till we all 
Mm -hmm. Until we all come in the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried by with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men, cunning crafty uh, of men. Are y'all still here? Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. And so what we're looking at, not, not only man, but governments and principalities and powers in high places that would attempt to govern the church and how we worship. Amen? Amen. And so keep your eyes open for the works of the enemy. Amen. Because the enemy has infiltrated Amen. Government, politics, Washington, D.C., so on and so forth. Amen. And our trust should not be in the government, but yeah, in right. God. Yeah. Amen. Uh, Amen. You can go ahead and give him a praise. Yeah. Go ahead and give him some praise. Amen. Because yeah. he's going to look after you. Amen. He's going to watch over you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, I, I, I need you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need now for you to go over to Ephesians chapter 1. What's on the inside? What's on the inside? So now we can put on the armor of God, the helmet, amen, the shield, the breastplate, amen. We can put on, but what's on the inside? What's on the inside? Right there in chapter one, he says, verse number three, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, who has blessed us. There they pull down the hills again, blessed us. Not me, but blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Somebody help me understand all. Huh? Is there anything left over if he's given all? Amen. Amen. A -a -amen. amen. And so then the God then who wants us to armor up, amen, has also given us all, not some, but all spiritual blessings. Amen. amen. And so then here is the differentiating part of that is that some of those blessings are for all of us per se. Amen. But then there are particular blessings that I need, that you need, that might be different. Hello, somebody. Yeah. But they're all available for the entire church. Yes. And so then when the unity of the church occurs, then all of the blessings come together. Ooh. Jesus. Yes. My yes. Let me say that again. Let me that. And so then when the church comes together, because he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Amen. Yeah. If that's there, and probably with some proper training, I can probably get there. Mm -hmm. But my natural gift, my natural gift is not in the sink. Amen. Amen. But I can show enough stand next to some altos and some titters and some cramps <laughs> and open my mouth and make a joyful noise. Do yeah. y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All spiritual yeah. blessings have been given to the church. Amen. And we experience the allness of that when we come together in fellowship and worship. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Hey, amen. But he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Amen. So that, and then, and then he says, all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. In Christ. Yeah. I, I need you to make for sure that you understand that all spiritual blessings from heavenly places in Christ Jesus, amen, is the source of of our blessings. Yeah. Are y'all still with me? Yeah, right. The source of our, yeah. of our blessings. Amen. Uh, read, read down just a little bit further. Amen. Uh, verse number seven. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Amen. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Yeah. Wherefore he hath abounded toward us. Amen. All <laughs> wisdom and prudence. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 and so then this particular message on the day may not be a hallelujah, lift up your hand, amen, jump to the ceiling kind of message, but it is a message, amen, that will empower you so that you are no longer carried away with every doctrine that introduces itself, with every cunningness that comes along, with all those kinds of things that will come and confuse us and cause us not to, hello somebody, cause us not to, amen, pray every day. Yeah. Seek God's yeah. face every day. Yeah. 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 Forsake the assembling of ourselves. Yeah. 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 I, I'm trying to help somebody today yeah. with, with a message, amen, that you can plant in your heart that will cause you to understand that if you armor up, amen, you got to have some boldness on the inside. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Yeah. You got to have some confidence on yeah. the inside, amen, yeah. to know that I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens That's me. Right. Hello, That's somebody, right. amen. Yeah. And so when it yeah. rose up against me, God said, I got you. I got you. I'll fight your battles for you. That's what God said. 
And then he has given us the wisdom and knowledge to understand the principalities of darkness and darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places so we can see it afar off. Hello, somebody. So that we might be able to discern those things that will come against us, those things that will come against our house, our family, our children, our finances, our health, so that we might be able to stand with confidence, not only arm it up, but then our hearts are full, amen, of his spirit. Trying to help somebody out today, amen. For this, amen, for he has redeemed us. Amen. Now, here's the good part. Here's the good part. Amen. Go on over to verse 17. Mm, I'm going to be out of your way in just a minute here. Mm, that the Lord, that the God, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. And so then if I'm knowledgeable of him, amen, I'm not falling into a place of where I am dead and ineffective. Because I have knowledge of him. I have knowledge of him. A number of years ago, there were braces and various things. What would Jesus do? And so then if I have knowledge of him, I'm understanding his purpose. What is his purpose for me? What is the purpose of the relationship that I have with him? He's the head of the church. I'm the body, amen, that has been blessed with all spiritual blessings, amen, so that I might be able to carry out his work, amen, on the earth, realm, on the face of the earth. Y'all see that? Amen. That Jesus has been promoted, anointed, amen, to sit at the right hand of the Father, amen, as the head of the church, but the body is still walking upon the face of the earth, declaring that he is Lord. Amen. He says, if you pray, amen, our Father which art in heaven, how will be thy name? Thy kingdom come. Amen. And so then, Lord, then how will your kingdom come? It will come through your people, your people who are your vessel. But, Lord, we're broken. We're bruised, Lord. We're bruised, Lord. And, and some of us are getting the unemployment check. Lord, help us. Help, raise us up, Lord, that we might be an effective body in our community, in our city. They are waiting to see somebody turn on the light. Oh, yes. Yes. Some of y'all will get that later. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. And so then because he has called us, amen, into himself, amen, through his blood, now we are saved, amen, and delivered by his grace so that we may operate in his body as a body of believers. Amen. Oh, that's yes. good, God. That's yes. good. And so then the joy. The joy that we experience, amen, is when we come together, amen, in our assembly, in our worship assembly, and in our worship assembly, amen, giving focus and attention and affection towards heaven. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Oh, I really like what you got on. I told Brown, I said, Brown, you really got it going on today with that <laughs> But let me, let me take my attention and my focus away from there and put it towards heaven because, God, you've got a word for your church today, Lord God. A word that we can stand on. A word that we can walk in. A word that we can declare. A word that we can live by. A word that will deliver the sick. A word that will heal those who are broken. Oh, Lord Jesus. What's on the inside? What's on the inside? Amen. I see you walking around with your armor all shined up. Amen. Oh looking God. all good. Uh, what's that name, Brandon? Stacy Adams and all them. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got your armor looking all good. Uh, uh, but what's on the inside? That's it. That's it. What's, 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 what's on the inside? Look, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Ooh, God is good. God is so good. Mm. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, verse 17. They give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know, that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Why, why is God calling me, y'all? Why is God calling me? So you may understand the hope of his calling, what the riches of his glory and his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power, the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe. According to the working of his mighty power. Verse 19. And so what I need you to understand. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because you're armored up. Amen. The power comes from God. Huh? Yes. I, I, I need you to understand that because sometimes we, we, we get tripped up, amen, because, uh, oh, Jesus, how's that? Some of us are, uh, are, are um, idol worshipers. Some, some of us are idol worshipers. That's, that's not even in my notes. That's not even in my notes. Some, some of us are idol worshipers, and so when we get to the mirror, uh, we start having church. Amen. Amen. Hey, hold, hold on, Pastor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, fella. Wait a minute. You come in here with all that kind of stuff. Well, hold on, hold on. We start having church at the mirror. Amen. And and and, 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 and so here it is right here. Who do you give your praise to at that moment? Amen. Oh, that's right. That's right. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm, I see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. <laughs> Man, I put my tie on and I went back to the mirror and couldn't get my collar down like I wanted to get to. Hold on, Reverend. Don't get beside yourself. Amen. Because we get beside ourselves and forget why God did what He did. Amen. Uh, he created you to be a vessel for His glory. Uh -huh. Amen. So that when you got there, you wouldn't hurt the folks' eyes. Uh, I'm just trying to help somebody. A a amen. So that the delivery of your message, yeah. delivery of your message, amen, is softer. Amen. And a little bit more easier to comprehend and understand. Amen. I like help folk understand. So then help, help me, help me, y'all. Help me so y'all can understand what I'm saying. And so yeah, Pastor Dorn is coming to preach on today and everybody. And he and he arrived, amen. And his breast stinks. So I need to stay over here. <laughs> How you doing, Reverend? How you doing? Amen. Amen. And whoa. I forgot the degree this morning. <laughs> Do y'all see what I'm understanding? Amen. So that God has blessed us yeah. so that we might be a blessing to yeah. others. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And delivering the word. Yeah. Not only yeah. delivering an audible word, but then also delivering a word that is visible. Yeah. I can see that you love me. I can see that you love your neighbor. I can see that you care about the church. I can see that you care about what God has called you to do. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. What you got over here, son? Amen. What you got on the inside. Amen. 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 And what is? What is? Verse 19. Mm. Oh, no, let me hit 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what the riches of the glory of his inheritance. Amen. In the same. The glory of his inheritance. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How, how many of y'all know? I know the believers know. I know the believers know that. Uh, if, if heaven has streets paved with gold, hmm. yeah. and you think about how big and awesome heaven might be, hmm. and every street, every street, hmm. every street paved with gold. I remember growing up right here in Chicken Shack. Amen. On this side of the tracks, y'all had concrete streets. <laughs> Everybody laughing at her. Yeah, they gonna laugh at us. They gonna laugh at us. <laughs> On that side of the tracks, amen, we still had dirt roads. Dirt. <laughs> dirt, dirt. Amen. We grew up with dirt roads. But I'm okay. Yeah. I, I'm okay. Yeah. I made it. God delivered me even from the dirt streets of Chicken Oklahoma, across the tracks. Amen. God still did a work. When everybody, somebody didn't believe, wouldn't be nobody, God did something with my life. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. What's on the inside? My God. Mm, what's on the inside? I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. Hey, hey, amen. Amen. But the inheritance, the inheritance, amen. And so let me just drop this footnote. All of us who are grandparents, the word of God says that we ought to. We ought to leave an inheritance for our children's children. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. This one's free right here. Right. <laughs> and so then in leaving an inheritance for our children's children, the wealth of our people, the wealth of our nation continues on. All right? 
But what happens is that the devil will come along and tell us to spend it all. All right, now. Mm. All right. Well, Pastor, how does the devil tell me to spend it all? Clearance. <laughs> all right, God. I'm just trying to help somebody. Amen. 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 Got a little, got a little change in your pocket. Amen. And what you tell yourself is you're just going to go look. <laughs> that, that, that's all. You, you, you're just going to go look. That, that's all. You're just going to go look. A yes, amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. And guess what? And who shows up at the rack? Clear. Oh. <laughs> all, all, all of a sudden, amen, for what you would pay for one piece, now you get five. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, that's a deal. Yeah. That's a deal. That, that's the deal that the devil wants you to have. <laughs> a a amen. Amen. A amen. Then some, Sunday morning come, amen, and you, you dig it in the wallet for your tithe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What, what happened to that 20? <laughs> you know, hey, hey, it ain't that no more. Clarence got it. Clarence got your time. Got your all. Hey, I'm just trying to help somebody. Amen. What's on the inside? Amen. Your armor up. God has called you to do a work, amen, that will lift up the wonderful name of amen. Jesus, amen, illuminate his kingdom, amen, give you the opportunity to declare a word, amen, throughout the land so that you can watch God's word do what it said that it would do, amen, a a amen, amen, trying to help somebody, amen, Woo, thank you Lord for the inheritance, and so if y'all would do that. If y'all would do that, amen, make up in your mind that you would start to begin to set aside an inheritance for your grandchildren, amen, so that they don't have to start with zero. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. How many of us, the first time we moved out, man, we were so excited and, they, and, and all that and everything like that, and, and found out that we had figured up the rent money. We know how much we figured out our budget, how much yeah. the rent's gonna be, and everything like that. We getting all our budget, and everything like that. And then we forgot about the deposits. <laughs> <laughs> Blew us out the wall. Hey, amen, amen. And now we gotta go back to mom and daddy. Hey, mom, I just need a little bit more for the deposit. A little bit more for the deposit. Do y'all y'all see what I'm uh, uh, saying about the inheritance? Because the enemy will cause us to spend all of it during our lifetime. There's not any left for our grandchildren. Amen. amen and amen. the Bible says that we should. We should. Amen. And so then why then do we struggle with poverty? Why do we struggle with poverty? Because we're not passing on the wealth. My God, every amen. generation, My God. every generation has amen. to start from zero. We should not be like yes. that. We are wealthy people. Yes. We are people who are prospering in God's word. Yes. Why do we want to spend it all? Yes. Okay, that wasn't easy. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. The inheritance, the inheritance. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power? Verse 20, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him, set him. Oh, mm, mm, mm. y'all need to underline that. Verse 20. Set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Set him. Jesus is in a set place. I, I need y'all to get this and I'm going to be out here. Okay? Jesus is in a set place. Amen. And if we are abiding in Christ, guess where we are? In a set place. Y'all hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Hear me. Amen. If Jesus Christ be raised up from the dead and the Father God himself setting him, amen, at his right hand side, amen. He is in a set place of authority. Oh my God. Ooh, oh my God. Yes, this is good. This is good. And so then, because Christ is in a set place, his church, which is his body, is also in a set place. Amen. And if we are in a set place, then the authority that he operates in also operates in his body. Amen. Ooh. And then he turned around and called us a peculiar people. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yes. Huh? Then he called us ambassadors of Christ. Yes. Then he called us a royal priesthood. Yes, my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Being in a set place, set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Amen. Look at verse 21. Verse 21. Far above. Look to your neighbor and say, far above. Far above. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name. What? Every name? Not something, but every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Amen. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm understanding what you're saying, Lord. You're saying, Lord, that we have been set with Christ because we are abiding in him. We have been set in a set place far above what? All principality, all power, and might, and dominion, every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in the world to come. What could we, what should we, what is there we are afraid of? Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. How, how, how is it that we want to sit down and collect our unemployment checks when Christ Jesus himself is sitting at the right hand of the Father above every name that is named? There is not a name that can rise up against us. There is no weapon formed against us that shall prosper. We are his body. We are the church. We are the church of the living God. We are destined for success and prosperity in God's word if we will be obedient to what he has called and purposed us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. COVID ain't got nothing on us. Come on now. Come on now. Got that known, so I'm almost finished, y'all. Amen. Amen. Verse 22. And had put all things under his feet. And had put all things under his feet. And gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Mm. All things to the church. You know, when folk pass by, driving down the street or walking down the street. What they see is a church building. Brick, mortar, wood, all those components that went into um, designing and building this building. Every once in a while, they may have a thought. What's on the inside? What's on the inside of that church? What's on the inside of that church? I'm glad David penned these words. He says, taste and see. Taste and see. He, he also said in the 122nd Psalm, come go with me into the house. Into the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 We can have it all shined up and looking good, lawn looking good. Ain't no weeds out there, grass all green, water sprinklers going and everything like that. But what's on the inside? Amen. That's right. What's on the inside? That's right. Amen. Amen. What's on the inside? And so then what God did, what, what God did, he planted in our hearts his word. Amen. So that as we give life to that word, as we stir it up, like he told Timothy, stir up the word. Amen. As that word begins to stir up in our lives, amen, it's like an illumination occurs. The word of God is illuminated in our lives. So that which is on the inside now, amen, is radiant and glowing on the outside. And people will say, it's not necessarily about what you look like, but there's something about you. There's something about you. Can't quite see it with my eyes, because it's not your physical clothing and shoes and all. It ain't all about that. But it's about what's on the inside Yes. that God is using, amen, to illuminate his word. So that as his word is illuminated in your life, what it does, it draws others. Amen. It grows That's right. Amen. That's right. But if you're so busy about being in the mirror, they will miss what God planted. Amen. 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 What's on the inside? Amen. Amen. Church, we love you. God bless you. Amen. If you would stand to your feet. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We we are in a season where God has delivered the church. For a pandemic that threatened the entire world. And as you look around, you see your friends and your family, those of us who made it through. That's something right there to praise him. 
All, all, if nothing else happens, that's enough right there. To give him praise. But he has allowed us to come through, amen, a pandemic storm, amen, and to get on the other side. And now that we're on the other side, it's not time to sit down and start collecting and throwing our unemployment. Amen. There is a work to do because there are still families and people who are in hopeless situations. We've got an entire generation of people who want to spend all of the inheritance. Oh. Hello, somebody. And so as a people, as a nation, as an African-American nation, we have a responsibility to our children's children to leave them a better community, a better place. But if we're so concerned about ourselves, that we will praise our sin and not lift up the word of God so that they will know who our God is, who the God is that we serve. Amen. We've got work to do. If you, As you look around, where are the young people? Where are they? We got to go get them. We got to go get them. With a loving heart. Don't, don't go out there and hit somebody over here with a sledgehammer and drag them to church. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Don't don't do that to them. But invite them with the love of Christ yes. that's abiding in your heart that we might assemble in a place and do the work that God has called us to do so that his kingdom come. His kingdom in heaven and earth. Because of his church. Who resides here upon the face of the earth. It's time, y'all. It's time. Time for us to stand up and be confident and bold in the word of God. That he has given us so that we might declare and live it with purpose. Live it with purpose. Is there anybody today? Is there anyone today at this moment that you do not know Jesus Christ personally? Personally. If you don't know him personally, that you can call on his name 24 7, 365, and he'll respond and answer. Is there anybody who does not know? If you don't, and you want to, we just simply ask you to come forward. And we will have prayer with you. We will touch and agree that the knowledge of Christ Jesus, the knowledge of who he is, might be in your heart so that you can stand on the battlefield with the boldness and the confidence in your armor and know that inside, inside, Jesus abides with you. Heavenly Father, we love you, we adore you, O oh God. We thank you for what you have done on today. We thank you, Father God, for the word that you have brought forth in our heart and also in our minds. We pray now, Lord God, that this word that has been brought forth today, Lord God, that your people will find their hunger for it, Lord God, and go back and research and study and stir it up, apply it to their lives, Lord God. We ask now, Father God, in the powerful name of Jesus, Lord, this word that was proclaimed and declared today, that it might be planted, Lord God, that it will bring forth a fruit. A fruit, Lord God, that gives you glory. A fruit, Lord God, that gives you honor. A fruit, Lord God, that gives you praise. And so, Father God, we are the church upon the face of the earth. We pray now, Lord God, that in all and everything that we do, as we operate in our spiritual blessings, Lord God, that we become that church, Lord God, as neighbors drive down the street, Lord God, that they will be drawn into, Lord God, drawn into your house of refuge. And we pray now, Lord God, the words that we speak unto them, the things that we do unto them, Lord God, all things will be done with your purpose, Lord God, that you might be glorified in their lives also. We ask on today, Lord God, that you would protect this word, seal it, Lord God, so that the enemy will not come and rob it, Lord God. We declare now in the strong and powerful name of Jesus, Lord God, that this word that has been declared on today, Lord God, will call your church, Lord God, to stand up brightly illuminated, Lord God, and declare a word, Lord God, in the park, at home, wherever they might be, Lord God, that you might be glorified. We give you all honor and praise, and we ask now, Lord God, you would be with us. Let us walk with you as your word guides and directs us. In the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus and Christ we pray. Amen.